I suspect you have questions. Theory. Get a non's sea beast. If you saw Dragon Age Gamescom trailer, then you saw the strange sea creatures in the concept art. There are three important questions I have about these creatures. What are they? Where did they come from? And more importantly, will we fight them in DA4? So let's dive into a theory on these mysterious creatures of the deep. First, as to what the creatures are, it's hard to say. They remind me of the great old ones from H.P. Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu. If the concept art dimensions are anywhere near accurate to what we'll experience in game, these creatures will be monstrous. At the very least, I expect them to be larger than high dragons, perhaps on the scale of great dragons, which we haven't gotten in game either. Now, as to where the creatures may have originated, that is potentially far easier to speculate. The obvious answer is that they are the creatures created by Gedanon, the mother of the Hada and goddess of guides and navigation. Gedanon created giants, monsters, and beasts that flourished across the sky, sea, and earth. At the request of Andrew, Gedanon was asked to kill her creations in exchange to ascend to godhood. Gedanon killed the creatures within three days, sparing only those that resided in the air, presenting them as gifts to Andrew. However, Gedanon did not kill the Hala or the creatures that resided in the deep sea. This is clearly stated in the Codex entry, The Ascension of Gedanon, found in the Temple of Mathal. The Codex reads, Gedanon kept herself apart from the people. She used her power to create animals none had ever seen. The sky is teemed with her monsters, the land with her beasts. And Drew hunted them all, and after a year of killing, approached Gedanon with an offer. The gods would share their power with Gedanon only if she destroyed her creations, but they were too untamed to remain among the people. Gedanon agreed and asked for three days to undo what she had made. On the first day, she struck down the monsters of the air, except those she presented to Andrew as a gift. On the second day, she drowned the giants of the sea, except those in deep water, but they were too well wroth and pride stopped her hand. On the third day, she killed the beast of the land, except the Hala, whose grace she loved above all else. This is how Gedanon was made youngest of the gods. Story of the elven god Gedanon, author unknown. What's strange here is that she did not kill the giants within deep waters because they were too well wroth, which just means Gedanon did too great of a job creating these creatures. But the more important aspect was that pride stopped her hand. What's strange here is that pride is capitalized in the codex, so Hyadali was a pride demon, and Gedanon would not go against Andrew. So without her own pride stopped her, you come to learn that Sodas means pride from the nightmare demon in the quest Here Lies the Abyss. Duth ma herelan, ma banal in asalin, marsolas in amartin. Bunal nadas. Obviously, I'm hinting at the fact that pride may refer to Finarel, the dread egghead. Sorry, the dread wolf himself. It's strange that in DA4, where we would be more than likely confronting Sodas to prevent him from carrying out his plan of tearing down the veil, that we also get these giant creatures in this game. So I think Sodas stopped good enough from killing these creatures, but as to why, it's hard to say. Sodas' intentions are always hard to interpret, but it's obvious that this takes place during the time of the Evanuris. Granted, what is and isn't true is always up for debate given their lore. Sodas always has its reasons. Perhaps he stopped the killing of these creatures to use as leverage on Gedanon, or to use them in some unforeseen plan, which may come to fruition in DA4. I think Sodas will either send these creatures after us, or more interesting, perhaps they are guarding something deep under the sea. But in regard to if we'll be facing these creatures in DA4, I think we will. I believe in DA4, we will be given the ability to swim. In doing so, we will encounter these giant Lovecraftian beasts protecting an ancient elven ruin where Sodas has hidden away some kind of knowledge, artifact, power, or all of the above. I think these creatures are just a glimpse of what we'll be facing in DA4. I think they'll be our introduction to ancient creatures along with griffins and above all, great dragons. I know this is a shorter theory, but I think it was really interesting. I hope to see this come to fruition. I do have to give credit and thanks to someone who commented on my Dragon Age behind the scenes breakdown and speculation video who sparked this theory and brought this idea to my attention. So thank you Lizzie, without your comment this theory would not have happened. Let's see if this theory is proven right when DA4 is released. I can't wait. Until next time Wolfpack, Mineral and Unsolved. Until next time.